Welcome to the Voynich Manuscript Podcast. My name is Finn Hammersley, and with me today are... Joshua. Jacob Ray. And today we'll be talking about the Mothman. everybody already know about the Mothman? I know he's in America and that's about it. I know you have a body pillow of him. Oh, you didn't, yeah, have, right you didn't have to bring it up. <laughs> but it's so cute. Why do you... Okay, we... That will be a topic for later in this. No, we might as well, no, have, no, no, it... we might as well talk about it now. It's already been brought up. Uh, I have it because fuck it. <laughs> sure. Because you want to fuck it. Hey. Alright, okay. All right. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad th- I'm glad this is the first episode. This is where it's already gone. It's gone down the road. <laughs> Downhill quickly. <laughs> Over a cliff. <laughs> <Just, laughs> Alright, so Who is the Mothman? Daniel Mothman was walking down a street one day. Uh, um so yeah. In on November twelfth in nineteen sixty six in a graveyard in Clendon in West Virginia, a group of grave diggers claim to have seen a man-like figure flying low over their heads, and this is supposedly the first Mothman sighting. Um, it was, wait, what was the date again? November 12th, 1966. Oh, wow. I honestly thought it would have been older. I thought it would have been less old. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, a few days later, on the 15th of November... Uh, Two young couples, uh, Roger and Linda Scarberry and Steve and Mary Mallet, which, great names, just... (laughs) Fucking, I told you to turn your phone on silent! Josh. I'll wait. You teach me how to do it and you don't do it yourself. No, this this is staying in. This is staying in the podcast. (laughs) Well, my phone is on silent now. Good, good. I have (laughs) learnt. Anyway. Uh, so these two couples are from Point Pleasant in West Virginia. Uh, they report being chased by a large creature with ten-foot wings whose eyes glowed red while driving near a former military munition site outside of town. Ten-foot's like three metres, right? Uh, yeah, that was a bit bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, I thought it was well, like... that's wingspan. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, no, no, that makes sense. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, for a, for a moth... Oh, sorry, a, a man-sized moth. <laughs> that, yeah. But I assume sure. the moth himself is actually quite short. I, for some reason, I thought that as well. Yeah. I hear Mothman, I think he's short, and just like a normal bird wingspan. I'm imagining maybe a 5'5 five, five guy. <laughs> I'm imagining he's way shorter. 5'5 <laughs> five, five guy, just... Walking around, pot belly, glasses, you know, just a dude. No, he has to be thin because he has to fly. Yeah. Hollow bones. Hollow bones, yeah. Or an exercise in because he's a moth. I was about to say, like all moths, bony. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the statue, it's just someone forgot you didn't want to fuck the moth man. Wait, that's a real statue. That's a real statue yeah. in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Oh wow! Next they, to that conspicuous like, picture of Donald Trump. Is that like the only thing that like the, the name to fame for that entire area? Basically, otherwise it's just a town in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. We oh, are yeah, insulting sorry. every single person that lives here. Yeah. Also, for context, by the way, we are uh, looking at the Google images for Mothman, and for some reason, Donald Trump's on there. Oh, his, I think this is a more clear picture. Of, yeah, that's a more clear picture of the statue. It's wow. We it's might actually, be right about the height. Yeah, uh, pretty big and silver and glowy red. Cool. Nice. cool. Um, any theories so far? Mm, no. The name really. sounded fake as fuck, but it's fine. Oh, I know, but they're such good names. I had to mention them. <laughs> um, what, what were the names again? Uh, Roger and Linda Scarberry and Steve and Mary Mallet. Oh, they do sound like something from some right? fantasy campaign. I would assume it sounds like from a uh, mystery novel or something. <laughs> yeah. The new book by Emily Rodder. It's just... Mothman. Mothman. Well, well, later I'll be talking about a book uh, that uh, a guy whose name I wrote down somewhere wrote uh, called The Mothman Prophecies, where he just went to Point Pleasant in the 60s and just started noting down everything... 
that could possibly be related to the Mothman. Hmm. He pretty much went insane. <laughs> All right. I kind of just imagine his biggest fear are like birds and small cats. <laughs> They, they made just the natural enemies of moths. Yeah. <laughs> he really loves fruit. Yeah. It's like his favourite thing. Yeah. I love eating shorts. And cotton. Yeah. And yeah. Cotton. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's, there's going to be something of that? Are people scared of him? Ah! <laughs> uh, he's like a scared... Because I don't think people are scared of moths. <laughs> but like, there's nothing really to be that scared of for moths. No, they're just fluffy butterflies. Well, based on these photos, which no one hearing this can see, which, um, which he looks kind of fucking weird. This one? Um, I more meant, like, the ones where you can see a face and what the fuck is that face. Uh, yeah, That's that, like a bat. Yeah, that does look like a bat, but I'm pretty sure it's just an artist's interpretation or something from the Mothman Prophecy uh, yeah. film. It's a which film? Is, it's not a good film. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's a film about cryptids. Oh, <laughs> Low blow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, during the next few days, other people report similar sightings. Uh, two volunteer firemen saw, uh, say they saw a large bird with red glowing eyes and Mason County Sheriff George Johnson, uh, believed, uh, he saw it as well, but he thought it was a large heron, which he deemed a shite poke. Wait, a heron is not a, a fish or something? A heron is a bird, dumbass. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know either. It's actually here. I actually have a oh, picture. Oh, herring. Mm. That herring is a fish. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, here is a picture of the bird he thought it was called a sandhill crane. Okay. And he called it a shite poke because uh, these birds, when frightened, shit. <laughs> so they are lighter when they fly mm. away. Huh. Cool. It's like how vultures throw up on their legs to cool themselves down. I didn't know what? that either. Yeah! Birds, am I right? Oh my god. Okay, I would have assumed something from their stomach acid would have made it worse. Alright, I have a, f I have a theory. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is the purview of this podcast, giving so, me theories. Okay, so like, with this many sightings of the moth, and from this many, like, people, yeah. it feels like it's just, and the fact that it's like this town's only name to fame, yeah. which we are assuming we technically don't know, we don't know anything about this town besides the Mothman. Yeah. It feels like it's a hoax to get people to think of the town. It's a tourism trap. Okay, well, I have a feeling it's more just a bunch of crazy people talking about it a lot. To, so when they see something yeah, somewhat both. resembling, all right. Well, okay. If it Let is a, a statue, hoax, if it is a hoax, what is it then? So people um, clearly there were birds. Sandhill crane. Sandhill crane. Sandhill crane. Yeah. People are like, oh my god, that's that's, scary. that's a current theory. Current that theory. or it's just a dude who invented a jetpack way earlier than the rest <laughs> of the world. Which good job. Yeah. Nice. I'm impressed. Well, He's then, short though. <laughs> We've canonized this for ourselves. Yeah, yeah it's it's canon in our world that the Mothman is of below average height, below average human height. Yes, he's like five five, so it's okay for a girl, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he is the Mothman. We, we have decided he's a man. Have we seen any kind of way to indicate that? No, uh, but we're no, but assuming he's a man. On the statue, he doesn't have a dick, but he has a nice ass. Non-binary? I think this is a time to think about. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, situation for moths? I think oh. it's... No, don't research. It's, uh, okay, yeah, this is, get your phones out. Just watch this. Uh, Google moth, How do moths read? Google moth genitalia, please. It's, wait. Which uh, <laughs> is not... Do you guys know how they... It's eggs. Is it I'm pretty right? sure it's eggs, I think it but I'm pretty sure males have a cloaca, like birds. Um... Reproduction cycle of cloth mon uh, oh. moths. Um, adult female moths lay up to 50 eggs within three weeks and die soon after. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about eggs the are attached to the fabric. Um, it's not... Oh. They can re they can reproduce both sexually and asexually. Um, so it could be moth person, not moth man. <laughs> no, it's a man, we've decided. <laughs> yeah. It would, it's not as catchy. I mean, fucking, Alliteration is always better. Fucking look at them biceps that <laughs> and the pe why did they make the Mothman statue so fucking ripped? Because they can, Finn. They yeah. can because they can. I I like this. Um, all right. So, the fact that all of these Mothman sightings happened in such a closed window, like the the final sighting of the Mothman is December fifteenth the next year, so nineteen sixty seven. Uh, when a, the Silver Bridge in Point Pleasant uh, collapsed, 
And that was supposedly the last sighting of the Mothman. Oh, I think I heard about that for a bit. I think you might have said I, something. I might have briefly mentioned it on my ram many ramblings about cryptids. Yes, yes. Um, but when the Silver Bridge collapsed, this was pretty universally deemed the end of the Mothman flap. So in 14... You're making a face, Jacob. <laughs> flap? What is... So, flap isn't just a term <laughs> pertaining to Mothman. Um, even though he has... Yeah, I but guess. it sounds like it is. It does sound like it is, but it's not. Um, in Fortean terminology, uh, named after Charles Fort, who was the first person who pretty much started categorizing all of this supernatural shit, um, a flap is a, uh, when a specific area gets a spate of sightings of a particular thing. Well, how long was Mothman there for in total? A, a year, a month, and three days. Okay, because moths only live for ten months <laughs> up to a year. Okay. Some only live for a week. It's... Okay, alright, but it's combination between the two lives. I guess and so. Man. Well, okay, is the genitalia of a moth, we know that much. Yeah, we've yeah. already established It this. has the, like, torso of a man. It's, for a statue, makes it look like a man with a smattering of moth. <laughs> Hmm. You know, I, I would say that it most likely was a type of moth which doesn't live very long, but mixed with a human lifespan, it lived a bit over a year. Well, okay, well, this is just the Mothman of West Virginia. There There's, been more. There's more? There have been other sightings of Mothmen in different locations. Ooh. Um, Man, confirmation bias is quite strong, isn't it? He <laughs> <laughs> um, had kids. <laughs> Well, so, uh, he's reproduced asexually, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, around the time of the flap in West Virginia, uh, well, West Virginia, just in general in the 60s, was alight with supernatural events. Like, in 62, you had what is known as the Flatwoods Monster, which I'll actually be covering in a few episodes' time. Okay. With my sister, actually. Nice. Um, and there was another creature that was noted in this area known as Indrid Cold, who also colloquially known as the Smiling Man or the Grinning Man, uh, who he's also quite heavily linked with the Men in Black. Uh, what? Not the, Sorry. Not the movie. I, I know, I realise, but my brain always goes to the movie. Oh, I don't blame you for immediately going to the movie, but uh, no, like the actual phenomenon of Men in Black. Um, so did you say most of these settings were like in the 60s and stuff for these supernatural yeah. creatures? Uh, or at least the West Virginia was. Okay. The West Virginia yeah. was Happens to be the same time when um, hallucinogenics, marijuana, and LSD were very popular. <laughs> <laughs> so sure. what you're saying is... Uh, <laughs> They're all just the, tripping balls. Yeah. <laughs> the, the fireman and the... <laughs> I'm not going to put it the, past them. The county sheriff. The county sheriff. And these couples and these grave diggers. Hey, are it's all West Virginia. I am just saying. It's I'm West Virginia. Saying, it might be true. We don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm the more sightings of other things, again, kind of feels like it adds to my theory of it all just being like... Hey guys, we have nothing. We're in butt fuck nowhere. <laughs> Let's have something interesting about the, our area. All right, weird shit happens, guys. Weird shit happens. I swear we've seen it. We need to interview yeah. the mayors. <laughs> the Can we do it with the budget for that? Everything. The mayor is everything. <laughs> the budget is my paycheck from Hungry Jacks currently. It sounds like it, but it worked. <laughs> what? Well, we know about them today. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we know about them today because it became insanely popular. Yeah, so exactly. it was a successful marketing scheme for their town. <laughs> yeah, because all that uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia needed was a shot in the arm that that shot happened to be Mothman. <laughs> no, yeah, actually. It's hmm. a great tourist trap. It, it is. like I'm sure I there's mean, many gift shops in there. Of, oh, there's a Mothman a Museum. All right. Sounds about right. Which is located near that statue. Yeah, near it. I mean, like, uh, Flatwoods uh, in also West Virginia, quite close to Point Pleasant, also has become a huge tourist trap because of the Flatwoods monster. Um, which, I mean, cool. But, uh, yeah, this, this guy injured cold, this other creepy sighting that appeared. Just a cold guy. Cold, yeah. Yeah, he's just cold. 
He's just a bit chilly. Yeah, he's just a bit chilly. Yeah, Nothing else to his story. That's it. Not a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> just this guy was cold one night, and they're like, ah, oh, that's a thing. Um, I mean, I, I'm probably going to do a few trips out in injured cold, but just for the time being, I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown on what he's his whole deal is spoilers uh yeah spoilers <laughs> for that potential future Shut episode up. <laughs> um injured cold is weirdly linked to the mothman where it's flimsy his link but it's also oddly solid <laughs> in that you remember how i brought up earlier the mothman prophecies um uh, oh the yeah. movie uh the, the book so the book yeah which i still can't believe i did i just not write the, the author's name down I just didn't. It was some crack of a picture. It might show. I, I'm not clicking on the picture of the moth. It does show. Where? Where? Which picture? Down the bottom. What's the... What, what are we looking at? Oh, never mind. Yeah, like I thought. It didn't show the, pi- the author's name on this random picture. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, the book cover always says the author's name. Yeah. yeah. That's not... Well, that's why I thought, I thought it was the book cover. Yeah. I mean, give me a second. I'll Google it. Um, Mothman Prophecies. Which is a great book, actually. But sure. It's really interesting. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, turned into a god awful film. John Keel. <laughs> John Keel. That was the name of the Hey, author. John. Mm. You hey, crazy, John. Welcome you to crazy the son of a bitch. Um, if you ever want to be on the podcast, feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, Cause, cause asked, this everybody said this to John Keel. I'm not sure if he's still alive. But, um, and this will definitely be popular enough for that to happen as well. Oh, yeah. This this will skyrocket to the top of iTunes. 100%. Yeah. Mm. I, I, that's my prediction right now. This, yeah. This podcast is being recorded in my bedroom. Martha the Martha Man. Man. Yeah, it's Martha Man. Um, but yeah. This injured cold guy, uh, he, a man who supposedly met injured cold, and the most famous sighting of it, uh, this guy named Woodrow Derenberger, uh, he'd receive strange, and I, I see that look you're giving. Sorry, just names. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, my Mothman character from City of the Mist is also named Woodrow Derenberger after this guy. Um, huh. Yeah. Just a little, little fun fact. Um... Yeah, he would receive strange phone calls, and this is actually something that had happened to a lot of people in West Virginia, like the Point Pleasant area specifically. I'm starting to think Jacob's theory was right. See, told you. <laughs> uh, people would re- uh, report receiving odd phone calls, where the phone would ring and no one would be on, on the other line. Uh, some of them would just be garbled. Don't hit the mic. Um, that was not intentional. Uh, some of them would have like garbled conversations that they couldn't quite make out. And some would just be like uh, clicking noises. Uh, like <laughs> he your, really likes like jazz. Your, like, I was thinking like a beat poetry night. Yeah, he loves his jazz and his poetry. Yeah. <laughs> Damn that moth man and Ninja Cocky kid, stop clicking now. <laughs> Fuck you. Um... Um, where was I? Yeah, people would also, like, have a great number of their home electronics, what little they had in the 60s, turn on and off. Just, which makes it just kind of sound like the power was shit at the time. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah, but people were like, ah, oh, the lights are flickering. It's the Mothman! It's cousin, the ice person. And injured cold, I guess. The, the Mothman was eating their wires, if you prove <laughs> Oh, no. I Do mean, your fabric. I don't think that they, they definitely know. can't. I don't think they can. No. I eating your fabric off- and your wiring. <laughs> Could you imagine how much worse that would be? Like, moths would be a way bigger pest. Oh, well, there's yeah. so many bugs which can and do. Well, they do, but there's... Like, cockroaches eat through wires. Yeah. So do mice, but I mean, they're not insects. And some types of ants. Gross. Yeah. Anyway, moving, moving swiftly along. Um... So the, I mentioned earlier how there were other places that received sightings of Mothman, or yeah. supposedly received sightings of Mothman. Uh, one of the main ones, and probably my favourite, was he was spotted in Chernobyl before the whole reactor meltdown. Spotted uh, how? Uh, in the fact that there was a creature in Chernobyl before, like right before the whole uh, Chernobyl thing happened, uh, which they called the Black Bird of Chernobyl. And I didn't think to bring a picture up of of it, so give this me a is sus. Well, okay, new prediction. 
Okay. The Mothman is a secret agent superhero vigilante. <laughs> he was doing his best to stop the evil plot by some evil cre- uh, uh, person at Chernobyl, but he failed. No, no, no. Or I, he's the evil no, I was one. about to say, I have a different theory. Cold War is around some. <laughs> he's the a Cold Russian War. spy. He's a Russian spy. He's a Russian spy. So, uh, this is a picture of the Blackbird of Chernobyl, which, compared to like that picture we have, oh, it's like it's like. Yeah, it just looks like the Mothman. Hmm. He's just less ripped. Yeah. Oh yeah, whole whole le- le- less. And he's kind of like bat wings instead of uh, moth wings. Yeah. Um, I like that interpretation better. Yeah, but that's like the weird consistency like, of all these interpretations. These they keep saying wings. Mothman. These are owls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of owls, actually, this, this literally this is an owl fear. here. Um, speaking of owls, um, one of the other spottings, uh, sightings of Mothman, was it was in Cornwall, England, in 1976, um, and it was where two these two girls were in a churchyard. I don't know, wagging off school or something, and they just. Was sit just sitting in this churchyard. I think it was a graveyard, and this they look into a tree. They look at a tree, and there's this like six foot owl man sitting huh. there, which they call Satan. Most other people think is a Mothman. Have you guys ever seen um? <laughs> uh, over the uh, Batman comics of like the Society of Owls and stuff. Yes. I yeah. I was thinking the actual DC superhero Owl Man. <laughs> what? That sounds familiar, but I can't ri- quite remember him from name. Uh, Do you mean from very... Watchmen? No. Uh, oh wait, no. Is he? That is DC. So... No, it's no, it's not. Mm-hmm. Watchmen is not no. DC. Yes, yeah, sir. A... I think I might be getting confused with Hawkman. <laughs> no, Owlman is technically a character in DC. What? Um, woo! um, but I doubt he looks how you think he looks. No, he looks like just a shitty Batman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... Because I, I was just watching the movie. What movie? Oh, there was um, a movie about, like, in the recent line of uh, DC animated stuff, where right. um, it was uh, Batman's son was like, oh, I don't I don't trust you, Dad. And he's like, oh, I'm going to betray you. And he's like, you didn't betray him. Oh. The Society of Owls apparently run everything in Gotham. Oh, uh, yeah, everyone knows about the Society of Owls. I... From my brief knowledge of DC lore, because I'm more of a Marvel boy, um, I know vaguely about the Society of Owls. Alright. So, yes, Mothman also now creeps on little girls in churches. <laughs> yeah. Though, a, a few other people... Another popular theory about that Cornish Owl Man. There's, there's not enough to do a full episode on him, so... Uh, another popular theory is that it was Zeus, um, who just transformed into an owl and was like... You're not worshipping me anymore. You know what? That sounds Fuck like you. <laughs> that I mean, sounds like a reasonable escalation of these situations. And also, yeah. Zeus did ha- find lots of girls. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And as Zeus animals. Got around. As animals yeah. yeah. Zeus got around. Yeah. Zeus was just fucking left, right, and centre. <laughs> but that was just another th- uh, possible sighting of the Mothman. Hmm. Um. All right, let's go into some of the. What's the wrong thing? Let's go into some of the popular theories. What the hell? They cross oceans by flying. Just fly. No, but <laughs> moths can't fly that far. Yeah, but it's, it's a, a big moth. moth. Man. It's a big one. Even Maybe a big it's like one, I don't think so. It went just... on a boat. <laughs> Maybe. He's a master sailor. <laughs> yeah. Well, if these sightings sound like they're He's... probably quite far apart in yeah. different places. He didn't fly. He would he's have had to take. He's an expert wayfinder. Yeah. yeah. On, yeah. Or he's like no. albatross, where they lock their wings or and just fly on the current. He has so many uh, frequent flyer points. <laughs> he shops so often at Woolworths. It's just. Well, no. If he's constantly flying everywhere, his frequent <laughs> flyer points should build up pretty fast. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so popular theories, like the most popular theory and the most commonly attributed theory is that it yes it's the sandhill crane from earlier i mean like, it's a bird it's a bird yeah uh what's the most there it is. um like if you look at that get rid of the necky bit um the necky bit the necky the, the bit neck. you know the neck yeah the red is the eyes um and oh my god yeah look at this that well that's compared just to straight, that that just showed up a bird with its head tucked in yeah yeah and that is the most popular theory wait there's a picture yeah, that. 
right, boy. When was that picture taken? I have no fucking clue. It says Monday, November 21st, 2016. But it's black and white. Yeah. So... No, that, oh, is, that's not black and white. It's, it's just blue. night. Yeah. Yeah, it's dusk. It's not black oh. and white. Mothman's back well, in 2016. My perspective, my perspective right. it was. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Mothman's back to save yeah. the world. Oh. I'll ruin it. Oh, well, he's a Soviet he's, spy. That's my theory. I mean, the thing you is, like, gone, you Mothman's a portent of bad things to come. Like, he arrived before the Silver Bridge collapsed. He arrived before Chernobyl. Okay. I mean, All nothing right. really happened. I don't, da, I don't da, think it's da, fair da, to compare da, a single bridge collapsing to, just a, to Chernobyl. One, to one, like, of, yeah. one of the largest nuclear disasters in the world. I feel like they're on slightly different scales. Just a little bit. But then nothing happened in Cornwall, and recently... Yeah, because like, nothing uh, ever happened in Cornwall. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I've been there. You um, have? Yeah, but it's in England. I've been to Cornwall. Like, I, I Why would I just assume you've been to everywhere in England? I it's, kind of just assume well, Finn has. Like, Okay, but when I when I say that to Finn, he gets mad at me for like saying, "Are oh, you being there, right?" He's like, "No, of course not. I know I could be anywhere in England." I yeah, briefly no. went to Cornwall. It's not that far from my hometown. Uh, Finn's been to everywhere in England. There's no way of it. There's You're no right. Way. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been to nearly everywhere in England. It's a small country. I haven't been to Scotland though. Is I don't think you should say that's in Finland. <laughs> I mean, because it's England. not in Finland. <laughs> in England. <laughs> no, it's in the UK, though, and it's... Really, yeah, yeah. It's, I could literally drive there if I wanted to, if hmm. I were in England and then not why Australia. Did you get there? Just somewhere we never got round to. I've been to Ireland, I've been to huh. Wales, I've been to England. But anyway, you want to hear some more crazy fringe theories? Okay, let's go. Uh, some of them is that it's an interdimensional being... I like that ...sent one. down to mess with people. Um, just fucks around people. That's it. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like that I, one anymore. I forgot which I forgot which author is. An author stated that uh, it could be something. And Indrid Cold was this as well, apparently. That it's an interdimensional pe- uh, being known as the Cosmic Trickster, which is just a being sent down to Earth with the sole purpose to just fuck with people. Okay, so it's Loki in disguise. Yeah. Well, see, I, again, I think for us right now, our fa- my favourite crackpot theory that we have is the uh, Soviet spy. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> I that's love the Soviet I've spy. I've never heard that theory. Yeah, we made it up. We're yeah. smart. <laughs> like that. Yeah, and then the other, like... Big brain, right? The, exactly. like, the smooth brain normal theory is the, um... It, it's all a hoax and these people are just are bored and want some yeah, tourism. No, no, fuck that. That no. can't be real. That That's can't impossible. Be it. it has to be a Soviet spy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and how oh. it flies, a jetpack invented by the Soviets. They could do it. Or they bioengineered him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's yeah. another route. Okay, let's start looking into Soviet yeah. spies, bioengineering. Oh my god, I'm getting deja vu. I've done this before with, I think, a different cryptid. Just saying it's a Soviet spy. Which cryptid? Who knows, but I, th- I said it was Soviet spy at some I think point. I've said stuff with Soviet spies as well. Because Soviet yeah. spy is such a good theory. It yeah. is. It works for every situation. Right. It does. Another fringe theory is that one of the more bland ones is that it was an alien. Nah. Yeah, boring. Not, no, 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 I mean, no, no, it's no, no, like no. Men in Black stuff, sure. If we're it, going off the movies lore. We never know. Maybe aliens just look like these weird five foot five creatures with <laughs> wings that change between moths, eagles, and Wells. owls. Yeah. Well, moths, owls, and bats. That is another big theory. That is just a currently unknown, undiscovered species of big bat. No, fuck that noise. I mean, there's Soviet a... Soviet spy. There's a... I think in South America, there's a cryptid, which is just a big bat called, I think, the Gahul? I believe it's called Man Bat. <laughs> he uh, usually hangs around Gotham. <laughs> no, it's... Have you ever seen Bat Boy? No. Bat Boy is so fucked. Give me a sec. Uh, it's another cryptid, I think also from West Virginia, actually. Yeah, they really bored Finn. <laughs> Uh, they are boy. so bored. So this, <laughs> this is Bat Boy. <laughs> what? No. The fuck? What? No. Wait, that's is that a no, that's, that's, that's a fake that's news a headline. child. That is an edit. That is oh, not a real news it's, headline. It's a real news headline. No, it's not. It's it too is. crisp. Uh, Did, does that say Bat Child found in, in cave? cave? Yes, it does. Okay, that sounds His sus. It's Batman. Eyes seen no, the dark. it's Man Bat. Bat. Okay. Oh. Bat Boy. His giant eyes no, see in the dark, and his ears boy, are boy better fan. than radar, says scientists. How? How could they know that? I don't know. Here's... They I, just... I it's think, like, hey, can you this... see that? He says yes, and he's like, ah, oh, sick. He's... Here he has to be a supernatural. Here is a framed version of the, of the original headline. 
It was a real newspaper. It was a hoax, but... No... Whoa. <laughs> what? Bad Wait, boy also West Virginia? Hoax? Also West Virginia? I think so. I Give me a second. No, no, no. Don't search it up. It's West Virginia. Those goddamn boring West Virginians. <laughs> wow, you're really digging into West Virginia. You know what? Uh... With the size of it, it could just be a pelican. <laughs> <laughs> it could just be a pelican. That was okay. a musical made about Bat Boy. I'm not joking. I, I, d- I believe that. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh... Yeah, Bad Boy was just a character made for um, a newspaper called uh, Weekly World News. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a specific state it's from, but... You know, it's not actually a hoax. That's the hoax part. It it was another Russian uh, Soviet spy. (laughs) Bad Boy is But this one got discovered, and Russia was like, oh shit, abandoned ship. So they were, like, uh, threatening these news organizations to say, say it's a hoax or we're going to wipe out your family. <laughs> you know, you know, I've come we're sending to... Mothman after you if you don't. <laughs> we'll get the... No, Bad Boy was 82. This was after all this. Yeah, but Mothman's just in hiding. He's a sleeper agent. <laughs> you know, no, this has given me more theories for other things. Emus. Emus are Soviet spies. <laughs> That's we, why we had a war. Can we just get <laughs> off this? <laughs> no, this is what this episode is about now. <laughs> okay, this episode went from Bothman to Soviets. Well, it's, it's tied in. All right. I mean, yeah. I, it was my fault for bringing up Chernobyl, I guess. <laughs> um, also, I just noticed that you have a giant poster saying, Say no to sports. Jacob brought that up earlier! This has been in my room for about a year. It, it, call, it stands out. I yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, anyway. Do I do exercise? Yes, but say no to sports. Yes. Any- no, don't do exercise. It's boring. Um, and too much exertion. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, some other less fringe theories are mass hysteria. Really less? Oh, like, not stupid. Got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mass hysteria is one cool, of the cool. big theories. And my final theory that I'm going to pose to you that um, people think uh, is that the local munitions plant that I mentioned earlier... Uh, wasn't as a bad okay, What is munitions? Munitions is weaponry and, like, ammunition. Soviets. It was an American munitions plant. And American Soviets. Was stealing. American <laughs> Soviets, thank you for that. Um, the country was full of spies. Yeah, it was apparently abandoned. The theory is that it was less abandoned than people thought. And they were testing a new prototype parachute. And people just thought this parachute was Mothman. I feel like we're just being proven right here. Yeah. It wasn't Soviets! How do you know? <laughs> were you there? No, I wasn't! <laughs> exactly! I, have you done the research? Yes, yes. obviously, just now. <laughs> you just told us In it. the last three minutes! <laughs> you have been telling us our research, Finn. You I've should been know. telling you my research. How have you come to different conclusions than us? I don't know! <laughs> anyway, final theory, Jacob. Yeah, it's a Soviet spy. Soviet spy. Is yours Fine. the same? It's a Soviet spy. All right. Well, my personal theory is mass hysteria. Someone. Okay, but that's too sane. Yeah, like, it is. that's what we know. You it's have a okay. boring. Why opinion. am I the voice of reason? <laughs> no, no, go on, go on. I don't like the term mass hysteria because it's so vague. Yeah, it's not vague. It is. How There's is a mass- lot of debate on whether mass hysteria, mass hysteria means like being real. everyone's crazy or something stupid like that. It is. It's more like it's confirmation bias me. and like all those things, like the specifics, yeah. you know. If we're if we're thinking of our actual like, all right, let's be realistic and not fun here. Uh-huh. Yes, sure. They're all dumb, crazy people trying to scam people so they can have a tourist attraction. Those but no, Virginians. they're wrong. The peop the smart people are wrong. We stick, put a tinfoil hat on. It is a Soviet spy. <laughs> Finn, you need to make us ten, tinfoil hats I'm next time. Not, would you like me to go grab some no, tinfoil hats no. for our next episode? No. I kind of do. God damn it. <laughs> it's so much effort. You can have it's a tinfoil more. hat. I'm fine. This no, is tinfoil. No, put that away! <laughs> I said no CC is this episode. Anyway. Not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> And unless anyone else has any stupid things to bring up... Uh... Fuck you, the Soviets did it. (sighs) Mothman Rule 34. Oh, I forgot. (laughs) I'm hoping you would forget about that. No, 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 no. Jacob will never forget about this Rule 34. We have a, um... What's that screen in front of us? We're going to just quickly react to some Rule 34 Mothman. Oh my god, there's so much. I know, I was saying that. Look at that. Look, Mothman, big wing daddy. But, oh, Jesus. Okay. Why, why does it have, like, a dog penis? Because it's an animal. Why, like, why did I go back to that? 
That's kind of cute. Oh no, I just saw the cock. <laughs> oh wait, that was yeah, an anime girl. Good. Sorry. No, we, we need to see the Mothman anime girl. Mothman anime girl. There we are. This keeps nothing of Mothman. No, that, that's a travesty. Want, that's worst moth, one. Moth woman. Worst we, one. Oh, would you like to hear some like popular culture that Mothman's been in? Sure. Uh, I know recently, uh, Mothman has been in the. Get off for all thirty-four. <laughs> I know recently Mothman was in the travesty of a game that was Fallout 76. Oh, uh, yeah. You can oh. actually visit Point Pleasant and see this get off the mouse. <laughs> anyway, um, what else? I know that there was a Scooby Doo episode of Mothman. Um, there was this show called Monster Hunters, I think that's what it's yeah. called. Yeah, Nat Geo. Yeah, and they, they brought in. Um, it was just these guys who just wandered around West Virginia going, we're going to find that moth man. And they and brought we're going to kill it. Yeah. And, and they, they said that for like an hour straight. They were like, ah, oh, look, tracks. Because of course there's always tracks. Um, and they brought in two marine snipers from the <laughs> Vietnam War. See? They need military <laughs> yeah. men to fight military uh, it's men. It's Soviets. There is no, no other explanation. <laughs> they had to bring in the US military. Well, no, they... they Just they, like the emus. It's part of Just the cast. Like the These two snipers from the Vietnam War. Who... Or maybe... Korea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say cast? Hey, hey. This is a real thing. And they were like... They were hired to build traps. To trap them off, man. Were they snipers and made them make traps? Yeah. Um, and they That's were like... That's kind of just sad. We've... Yeah, right. Making a cage for this mothman poses a bit of challenge because apparently he can turn into mist. So oh, well, that's new. That's something. It's it's never been we... confirmed. It's okay. what do you mean never been confirmed? As if the rest of this has been confirmed. <laughs> I'm starting to think of the Loki theory more now. Why? <laughs> I'm watching Loki recently. It's a good. I, show. I have one episode it. left. It's... Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, I, I need to watch it. I, in my personal opinion, I really enjoyed it. Final episode. I'm getting them. Shut up. <laughs> we don't want the spoilers. I'm not giving you spoilers. Anyway, uh, I can't. I'm really struggling to think of any other pop culture right now. Uh, okay, so so far we've confirmed the Soviets were Mothman and the Emus. Uh, that sounds like a good place to wrap <laughs> it up. <laughs> the Soviets were Mothman and the Emus. Exactly. All right. It's always the Soviets. It's always, always the, the Soviets. Soviets. <laughs> and that concludes it for the first episode of the Voynich Manuscript. Uh, thank you all for listening and join us next time when we talk about uh, who put Bella down the witch elm. Uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye.